Hello, we're back with uh, award-winning actor Rasputin here. <laughs> and we're ready to move on to the next area in the asylum. Which I believe is the courtyard. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tegley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jour de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Well, it seems oh, like we you have. Want a court too? Well, I got one for you too, and you, buddy. Quite the characters here. Behind you, General. Oh goddamn! Okay, there's a there's brains everywhere. Uh, what should we look at first? There's too many things to look at. Let's talk to this dude first. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I am busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! I thought I had a spy. Where'd I put my dang spy? Seems like there's two people here. Help Fred with the battle in his mind. What is this? Hmm. Can oh, we just good move, mate. Can we move this around? Ah, oh, good move, mate. Oh, great. You ruined everything. Now I lost. Oh. You are losing anything. Sorry. Oh, just shut up and let me pout a Oh, no. <laughs> What's this? You think I'm dumb, don't you? Oh, great. You ruined everything. Now I lost. You are losing anyway. Oh, just shut up and let me pout alone, will ya? I want to play again! Well, before we Another help easy victory Fred out, Napoleon let's look around. Have a quick look around the surrounding areas, collect some brains. There was that brain in the nest, but the crows take it away hey, whenever I get too close. I'm tired too, but you don't see me lying down in the shade now, do you? Card. Oh. Alright. Oh, oh! There was a brain there. Not that brain, but another brain. This sun is bright. The Chaps, what is up, eh? Wow, I feel like we never even found out that guy's name before he got taken. Cause I definitely don't remember learning about it. Chops. Okay, another. Oh, there's a lot of brain. Oh, jeez. Lots of brains around here. That's a good thing. One step closer to recovering our friends. Better give Maloof's brain to Mikhail ASAP so we can protect it. I'm aloof. You know, when we find... Oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, I'm stuck! When we find Bobby Zilch's brain, I kind of feel like, do we even want to save him? <laughs> How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet, we'll never know. Unsanitary. <sighs> okay. So what do we have... Oh, what do we have here? Oops! Oh! That's the way we came from, never mind. So this is the courtyard. Lots of things going on around here. Well, kind of. We see that there's an art gallery upstairs, there's an orderly, and uh, Mr. Napoleon Bonaparte. Greetings, Dr. Labotta. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Labotto. My eyes may be half gone. But I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. What am I supposed Whoa. to do? Alright, so I think we know where we use the claw, or uh, the award that we got from Gloria then. Where is it? Right here. Uh, not sure about the other portions yet, but I'm willing to bet these guys are gonna help us out. Trick the orderly <laughs> into letting him. me on the elevator. He has some, like, cataracts or something. 
Yeah, I got a claw. I got a claw. You want me to take it out right now? Behind you, General. I got it. Find a lab coat. We don't have that. Is there anything we should be looking at before we move forward? Another okay. easy victory for Napoleon Bonaparte. Will those crows come down again? Because I kind of want to try getting that brain. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. So if we go invisible, will that help us get the brain? Where did everybody go? <laughs> God damn it. Is everybody dead? Let's give that one more try. Like, what? If I hide over here, will you come out? Please. Okay, why don't we explore this little area here in the meantime? Just wrecking the asylum. Well, it's more like the asylum was already wrecked to begin with, but... <laughs> wrecking it even more. These are really poor living conditions, to be honest. They could probably get sued for this. I'm surprised Milka's brain doesn't go invisible when I get close to it. Oh, how appropriate. We had to use invisibility to get her brain back. Okay, well, I think that's enough looking around for now. Let's look at Fred. Let's help this guy out. Excuse me, sir? My name oh. is Napoleon. Nope. I forgot. We have to use the portal. I may be dumb, but... Sacre bleu! I have been hit! Well, we know that guy. That's the guy on the outside. But you know, with the, the patients at the asylum, they tend to have different personalities living inside of them. And I guess that's what the other guy is. And we should assume that he's Napoleon, I bet. Oh, there's one more sticker there. Sticker, figment. Who's winning? Nobody's winning! Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name! Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that simple fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swine who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. No, really, great-great-great-grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Your move! It's tough. When you have a family member that's so accomplished that you can't possibly stand up to them in terms of accomplishments, it's tough. I'm an only child, so I don't really get that problem, but I can imagine it being tough, especially between siblings. I can't get a good view here, but... Oh, here we go. You see how Napoleon has his arm, his hand inside his shirt? It's because there's a picture in history. If you paid attention in social studies or history classes, you would know that this really famous picture of Napoleon or portrait painting, it showed his hand like in that same position. So I guess they're making fun of it here. And I think it's also a common misconception that he's really short. I believe he was actually of average height, but everyone seems to think he's really short. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I remember reading that on Reddit or something. He's wrecking furniture. Okay, and I also noticed something here. Should we try to grab it with telekinesis? Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Nope. Well, you know what? 
It's fine. We can go through with this first and see what happens. Huh. What's actually inside there? Hmm. No, not much. Ah. That was clairvoyance. So I guess we'll just... Uh, how do we participate? Who's winning now? What do you think? Who's winning now? How? <laughs> well, let's help them out. Oh, dear God. We are in the battlefield. Quite literally. What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No! We don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Ha <laughs> ha! I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... Did that soldier just say he was gonna torture some peasant? I'm pretty sure there's some sort of war rules against hurting civilians, man. Okay, so we gotta recruit a carpenter and a peasant to fight for Fred. Random... Why is there a random, like, cheese thing in here? <laughs> was someone eating snacks and they just left it in the board game? Really? Come on, take better care of your games. Okay, so what do we have here? We have some sort of like Settlers of Catan thing going on here. There's Napoleon. And where's Fred? Fred isn't even in here, I don't think. It's just us against Napoleon. What's this? Okay, we're getting smaller by the minute. But it seems like we might be able to recruit somebody to help us here. So I don't think that guy is here yet. Uh, okay, I don't have to talk about it yet because he's not here yet. When he shows up, I'll make sure to talk about him. Got it. Hello! Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Maybe. Good enough. Damn, that's a tall order. Look at how many traps and tricks we have to go through to do all of this. Oh, good thing we're from an acrobatic family. Okay, so find a way onto the carpenter's roof. Oh no, he's right here. Oh my god. This is the guy I was looking out for. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Oh my god. Whenever we're this size, he will not leave us alone. He will just be here the entire time and trying to like mess with us and stuff. I hate him. I hate this guy. So let me get out of here. Get in the water. I don't, I don't care what you do. Get out of here. Get out. I hate this guy so much. With the intensity of a thousand suns. There we go. Yeah, get in there. Bye. I'm so traumatized by him that I still remember him after years of not playing this game. <laughs> okay, so I think if we want to get up onto the roof, we probably have to get into this building here. Can you hear it already? I hear the sensor. <laughs> okay, there's no door. Uh, maybe we have to go here. Oh, <gasps> can 
bag. Is this a guillotine? What is this? Oh no, did you see what's behind us? That guy's back! I think he's back. Where is he? I know you're around here somewhere. Don't lie to me. Yeah, no, okay, so can we get up here or how do we... What is that sound? Mm, doesn't seem like we can go up here. Hmm. Okay, how can we do this? Oh, it's from the sensor up there. So we want to get... Oh my god! Excuse me. Excuse me. You are just so rude. You! You! Get the freaking like... Get out of here. I hate you so much. No, 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 no. No, use telekin- Use telekinesis, goddammit! Bye! Ugh! But I think that guy actually helped us. If he hadn't been there, I wouldn't have been able to find this ladder. <laughs> Pretty sure that was his function. Oh my god. Okay, let's get up here. Oh no! I'm so good at this. Excuse me, what is going on? Jeez. Okay, let me use the steam. Yeah, we can. But... Um, we do this. Oh, we didn't jump high enough. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of a fluke, but it worked out, so it's fine. Okay, Got a very nice guillotine going on here. Okay, do we need to go invisible here? How does that thing even know there's a person here? It's like motion sensors or something. That's way past Napoleon's time. Oh no, you don't! Nope. Thank you. Now we're in. Oh! Napoleon themed sensors! Get out! This guy needs a duffel bag tag. I'll come back for you. Okay. Oh! You little... Okay. Find a way onto the carpenter's roof. We are on the carpenter's roof. Get rid of any burglars. Alright. Woo! This guy's big and buff and strong! But still, no match for the mighty Rasputin. Come here, little vault. Fred versus Crispin. Fred was at the asylum along with the other kids. Kids? Crispin! Crispin is the orderly, huh? And they became friends by playing a board game called Waterloo. They played board games all day long. Did Crispin win? Huh? What? Oh, is Fred confused at why he lost? Is that what's happening? He's a sore loser. Is that why he doesn't want to play anymore? Because I know I have the same problem. I think it might be a perfectionist kind of thing. I don't really like playing board games because I don't like losing, so... <laughs> Maybe Fred is suffering the same thing here. <laughs> no! God damn it! I missed those two... <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. J. 
just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. Okay, we got one piece. So let's go to the other guy's house and hopefully... Who else are we looking for? Who's crying? Oh, the duffel bag. Okay, we can recruit a farmer here. We're definitely gonna need the health. With those stupid little jerks lying around. Hello, I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and- Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. <laughs> He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him. And I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man. And that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Well, looks like we'll have to go talk to Fred. And to do that, we'll have to find that little plug there. Restore the home hopeless, not homeless, peasant's faith in Fred. Ooh, come on, come on. Really? There we go. That's how we get bigger, and I think we have to get out of here completely. Thank god the water doesn't kill us this time. It's too shallow. <laughs> I bet when we're small, though, it'll still kill us. Alright. Hey, Fred. Ow. Oops. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Pick me up. I don't care. Hey, Fred. The problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milkitust! Shut up! They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yes! Yep! Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. All right, we're good to go. You know, one thing about that vault that we just saw earlier that was kind of funny is that it showed Crispin inside one of those... Oh, what do you call those rooms? You know, those rooms where everything looks like sponge walls. How do I get small again? Like, all the walls look spongy and stuff, so that the person inside doesn't hurt themselves. Crispin was inside, so is he actually a patient? Not an orderly? Hey, I have an important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god, he does care, he does! I knew it! Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time! I can't wait to die for his cause! Yeah! Well, you might not die, you might win! Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay, hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. All right. Now what? We have a farmer, we have a peasant. What's next on the list? Move the newly recruited milit militiaman piece next to Napoleon's soldier. Hey, I'm praying for you. Everybody's hopes are lying in your hands, so please win. Ah, uh, soldier. Oh, this guy? The farmer? Can I even move him over there? No, there's no bridge. Huh. Hey, don't touch my pieces. Okay. That is cheating. You're right. Let's see what the to do thing says. Move the newly recruited militiaman piece next to Napoleon's soldier. But he's across the bridge. How do we do that? This guy? This guy doesn't really want to move. Um. Oh, I can get smaller. Is there someone else we can recruit? Hi, is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. Well, why don't you come out here and fight him? Hmm. What's the pay? Uh, 
Freedom? <laughs> Forget it. God damn it. People are so complacent around here. They don't even care about freedom. Okay, well, there must be some way. Eh. Yeah. No, that's just a plug. Can we recruit that guy or not? Because otherwise, I don't know how you would be able to get a piece next to the soldier. Hi! Hi! Is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. That's it? Come on! Hi! Is this big soldier bugging you? Yes. Come on, man! Fine, 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 fine. How do we deal with this? Yeah, I'm willing to bet that if we try to cross this, we're gonna die in the water. So I don't really want to try it. Okay, well... I wish I could tell you I knew what to do, but I don't. What is a salt shaker? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just a random salt shaker. Excuse me, Mr. Bonaparte, but how do you play this game? Ugh, this game is so easy, even a child like you can play it. All my worthless descendant has to do is move a knight piece into the center of my stronghold. Haha, <laughs> but his knight isn't even on the board. He's hiding out in that house. Well, maybe he's got a good reason. And knights are good at storming strongholds, but they are no good at field combat. So he'll also need a strong militia to fight my soldiers. And if they came out to form a strong militia, they wouldn't be able to move around the board because I keep breaking his bridges. Hey, that part is your fault. So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. <clears throat> not this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. Shut up, Fred. Fred, shut up. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, I still gotta figure out how to repair the bridge. There's a bridge here. Can we, like, recruit some people here? Oh, so many figments lying around. One bullet shopping, back in a few. Okay, we better get out of here ASAP, because that guy is here again. I hate that guy so much. Oh, my dear lord. Okay, we got a purse tag. Be on the lookout for the purse. Jeez, go away, go away. I, oh my god, I hate Go away, go, I swear to god, go away. Stupid little thing. I hate you so much. Are we safe? Are we safe? We're not safe until we become big again. Okay, how do I do this? Hmm. Can you fix the bridge? Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Yeah! Oh, really, darling, we'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. <clears throat> right, okay, so you, you are not fit for fighting, so move back a little bit. But we'll have this guy, the farmer, who is obviously very fit for fighting, fight the soldier. Ah! Ah! Take that! Die! Die! I kill you! Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! I hate bridges! Ah! Come on! That is for kidding my father, Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges. You're making me mad. It's good. Anger is the first step to giving a crap. 